You're on. All right. What are you doing? Well, we're going to make a special project today. For what? This is for a, a lady named Kimberly that's seven, seven years? Seven years. Seven year cancer free today. Way to go. Awesome. And she, uh, we already know her favorite colors, which is a teal. Well, the teal represents cancer free. Right. And what was that one color that we had in there? That well, I'm not sure that's the one we're going to use. I think we have something else. So we no. got a teal coming up. But I've got a really nice wood here. We're going to use the Let's Resin form on this one. The last one came out really nice on this, so we're going to use this one again. I've just got to trim these down and get them to where I want so we have good size for the river in the middle. I could run these through on a table saw, but this is just quicker and easier. Little wider. So we need this one a little bit more here. I had to change out the blade. Those abalone shells did a number on it. What number? What number? I'd say about 54. That's the cost of a new blade. Oh. Ah, how do you like that? What do you think? Let's see. More? Um, Maybe a little bit no, more. No, because it's going to actually go up to this edge, not that edge. So you think we're good here? I think, ah, maybe a little more. Just a little bit. Woo Just a little bit. Woo like it'll be good yeah that's good this yeah. one's for you Kimberly I hope you like it I'm gonna trick you into telling me some other stuff you might want in it so <laughs> you won't know that until uh, you watch this video all right I'm gonna sand these edges down a little bit and clean these up so it's a little bit a little bit flusher and we'll be done I have mixed up her favorite color, Okinawa blue. And once it's setting, we're going to swirl in some pearly white like she requested, even though she doesn't know that this is for her.
glue is pretty sticky, so I've got the white mixed up. I used, where is it? Pearl X uh, Micro Pearl. And I'm basically going to just drizzle it on and um, kind of swirl it in. So what do we got to do? I'm going to take it outside. We'll leave this for now. I'm just going to hit this with the sander here and here, the wood, just to clean it up so we don't have that blue on there. Be right back. All right, so we took this out of the mold. We had a lot of seepage that went underneath, so I wanted to clean all that up, get it back down to nice and flush. I know we're going to get more on here, but it won't be double or triple the work. So since we've got that sanded down, we're going to put this back in the form. And Michelle wants to redo the blue here. And what, not as much white? Yeah. So we're going to re-pour some blue in this and then put a smaller bit of white swirl in it. All right. Yeah, look at that little thing. A little level right in the middle to tell you it's level. <laughs> That's a leveling table. <laughs> but it's not level. The leveling table is linked in the description. I've got the blue mixed back up and I'm glad there's like a lip here deep enough to add it back over. I just was not happy with the way the white came out. So I mixed up four more ounces. And I'll check it in an hour. This is my four hour fast cure. And see if the swirl will do it justice before I add any white.
perfect amount. All right, so I ran it through the saw. I got the sides cut off and squared up nice and square. I'm gonna hit this with 120, clean it up a little bit, and then I gotta go to the boss and see what she wants to do next. I know she wants to do a flood coat on this. We have a lot of little small holes in this wood. So we're gonna pour a flood coat on this to fill all those in. 
So I'm gonna go over it with a 240 real quick and then we'll probably go hit it with the flood coat. All right, so I'm gonna go check with the boss because she likes to have a say in it. So we're gonna go check with her. I'll be right back. So confirmation from the boss. She wants me to route her. So that's what we're gonna do. Stay tuned. See, she likes to think that she's the boss. I let her think that. That way it just keeps me out of trouble. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now I'm gonna go back over this with the sander, clean this up. As soon as I plug it in. I gonna do flood coat it? No. Seal coat, seal coat it. it. I'm gonna seal coat it. Just one ounce. A half ounce. A half ounce. Half ounce total? Yeah, you won't even tell you all that. Alright. So let's get started. Let's get ready to rumble. I got full reign of the room. Nobody in here to boss me around. So this is what we're using for our uh, coating. It's going to be linked below. Let's resin. Part A and part B. Let's see how we do here. I don't know about you guys, but that mixing for five minutes plainly sucks. All right, guys, it's my turn for a little while. So, again, this is for Kimberly, who does not know she's receiving the board. I dedicate, she wanted me to dedicate this video to her because her birthday was in October. So I just sent her a text and said, if you were gonna make your you know, perfect board, how would it be? And she explained in great detail that she wanted the cervical cancer sticker 
in teal and white. She wanted some words on it that it said, it came, we fought, and I won. And she also said she wondered how it would look with some butterflies. So this is exactly what we're doing for her. So right now I'm just going to put down all the butterflies. So we, we um, seal coated this twice. And then we took some sandpaper and got it a little flat. So there is a, a small portion of epoxy on this. Once these are all on, I'm going to spray seal it with some clear, clear sealer to hold them down under the epoxy. And then I will be using my food grade tabletop epoxy um, on this one because I don't know if she's going to be using it with food and I want to make sure it's safe for her. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these all laid down and then sealed. So Kimberly, I'm not sure if this is exactly what you had in mind, but this was our version of your text message. So I hope you like it because you already have it. I'm going to make sure you receive this before the video gets released because I know that you watch them. Wait, 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 don't start. Hi guys. Okay, now you can start. <laughs> Time to flood coat. We're flooding. She's flooding. I'm gonna fire. Hopefully this works properly. Of course it's gonna work properly. It's glitz and glitter doing it. Spatula to move it. No. Just before the flood coat, gave it a light washing with some alcohol. Make sure we didn't have any fingerprints on there, any finger marks, oil from our skin, or nothing, which. We didn't because we had gloves on. PPE. Don got in trouble on the last video. He must have <clears> not <throat> been wearing some. I'm sorry, lovely people. Somebody caught him. Sometimes I just forget. I'll try to do better. All right, so everything's wet. Hopefully it'll flow. Just got a torch.
All right, ladies and gentlemen of all ages. So we cleaned up the back from our first pour. What was that called, a flood coat? So we did the flood coat and we had to sand that down a little bit. Cleaned up all the back, got that nice and clean. So now we're gonna try to outsmart some stuff here. Well, because I got PPP on. PPE? Yeah. Personal protection problems. Hopefully this will help with a little bit of the overflow. Look at that skill, that form work. She's going for the gold. This is the 2023 Olympics. Resin Olympics. It's a resin off. And this is her final piece, ladies and gentlemen. This is not my final piece. She is going for the gold. My final pour on this piece. Look at the way she runs that trowel. Get that corner a little better. Ladies and gentlemen, never in history will you ever see somebody like this. Look at the form. She is truly an Olympian. So Michelle, how does it feel to, to be going for the gold in the 2023 Olympics? Tell us your opinion. My opinion is we need a torch. Ah, fire. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The 2023 Olympics. And it looks like we have created a masterpiece. Look at that beautiful piece of work. Let's focus in right here on that right there. It came, we fought, and I won. So, Michelle, gold winner. What do you have to say? the gold winner she won Kimberly's the gold winner Kimberly 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 it came you fought and you won and this is your prize this is your prize we truly hope you love it lovely people we are gonna oh he's the back oh he's oil Then we'll let this sit and dry for a while. Once it's set up and ready, then we can take it off. And again, Odie's is food safe, so you don't have to wear gloves with it. 
and it actually smells really good. This project is coming to an end. And what a great project it's gonna be for a very good reason. So with that, we'll get back to you when we're ready to take this off. So here we have a pizza pie. All right, we don't have pizza pie. Sounds good though. So we did the Odie's and now we just have to clean it up. Man, it smells good. Looks good. Kim, I hope you're surprised. Happy birthday. Yet. Put the phone, aim the phone up for a second so you don't see the board. Don't look at the board yet. Okay. Ta da! Nice and shiny. Of course, my lights are reflecting off of it. This is it. Get my fingerprints off of it. Hope you like it. You can use it with food. I wouldn't cut on it. I'm gonna get you boxed up and in the mail tomorrow.